Good morning, you guys. It is Thursday morning. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is spend the morning sewing with me. It is my makeup Mother's Day. Like I said, it's Thursday. Mother's Day was this past Sunday, but I was out of town with our toddler and my husband had to work anyway here where we live. So we didn't get to celebrate all together. So today is my celebration. Uh, the toddler is going to play time at the Y for four hours and I'm supposed to be getting pancakes later, which is very exciting. And I get to spend the whole morning sewing. So that's what we are going to do today. I have some ironing I need to do first and I do have a little pair of pajamas that I kind of want to finish up for the wee one, but this is also my time to sew. All my sewing time is my time to sew, but this is my special celebration sewing time. So I think I'm just going to work on a dress I'm making for my husband's promotion ceremony next Friday. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do the pressing, the ironing, and then I am going to get to work on that twall. I have it, the bodice cut out to make the twall. So I'm going to get going on that. I have my coffee. I already did a little bit on the pajamas. I was burying serger, not burying tails. I was um, doing serger tails while my daughter had breakfast. And that's it. I'm still waking up a little bit. Actually, it turns out my brain is not quite functional yet. I'm going to get going on this ironing so that I can get this laundry out of my sewing room and then get going on the twelve. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Okie dokie. Checking in. Um, I have the four bodice pieces and the sleeves together. This is not the area I was concerned about, but I did just want to check the arm side because sometimes sleeves and arm size can feel too tight on me. I just have kind of big upper arms. So I did want to check that. Um, it's not going to be this open. There is a neckband that goes in. Probably a little more than I realized, but we'll see how I feel about it once the neckband goes in. I just have the back pinned together and I slipped it over my head. Depending on how it feels with the neckband, and then once I get the, the waist piece on that I'm worried about, I might not put the zipper in. I might just sew up the back and be able to slip it on. We'll have to see. But I am I am feeling like the neckline is open enough I can just slip it on. So uh, it's going pretty well, but I'm about to move on to the part that I was worried about and modified the pattern pieces for. So we will, we will see. I have not mentioned yet, I don't think, but I'm working on new look 6728. And this piece right here on the waist, that bottom band is too small. So I modified that pattern piece by eight inches. I made it eight, let's look at the line drawings. I made it eight inches longer and here you go. So I made this piece eight inches longer. I modified this midriff piece by I think two or three inches. It's gathered so I wasn't too concerned about it. And then I also made these pieces that go up to meet the tie. I made those I think an inch longer each based on measuring my body and holding up the pattern pieces and stuff. This was just the one that was the really big issue. So that's why I'm making this twall and testing it all out. Breakfast time. Okay, breakfast. So yummy, lemon ricotta blueberry pancakes. I am a little winded because I just wrestled my laptop charger out from under the bed where it usually lives. But I have my show ready to go again and I have an emotional support Bubba down there. And we are back to the twelve. Let's go. Okie dokie. The bodice is done and it works. I am excited. So this is definitely going to work. This will be a little lower because it will have a facing but not as plunging as I was scared of. The sleeves will be a little higher. They also have a facing. And right now I do have it basted down the back and I was able to pull it over my head, um, obviously, but I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and put the zipper in. I just need to find a long enough zipper that matches. I think that'll be fine. I like where this band hits. This is the one I modified the most. 
this is just kind of thrown in here haphazardly. It's pretty wonky, but I just needed to make sure this part fit and that this fit. And it is, I mean, pretty, pretty dang perfect in terms of coming in. This is all good. Okay, now I can cut my fashion fabric. I went ahead and finished up the waistband on the little pajamas. I did not make a casing like they wanted. I just surged the elastic to the top and then folded it over and did a zigzag stitch. I cut every corner possible with these. As you can see, I just did a rolled hem. I um, added the, I did this last night, but I added the ruffle using my gathering foot on the serger and then surged the side seams for all of it. So they don't really match up that well. And you know what? I don't care. They're fun little holiday pajamas. They're cute. They're for a growing child. And I just still think they're super awesome, even if I was very lazy. The pattern I used was New Look 6537, and I made View B minus the little flower applique. I will definitely make more of these. And really, I think they could just be, it could be a cute everyday outfit if I put more care into the um, the finish and stuff. I think you could really play around with making these a fun little outfit and make them for different holidays and stuff. And with that, I am all done with my morning Mother's Day sewing session. This went by way too fast. I just wanna keep going. But um, I am gonna go do some dishes and then get cleaned up for the day. Cause I think we're gonna do some family stuff next. My belated Mother's Day celebration, this was fabulous. I'm so stoked that I got that whole bodice toile done. And I know that it works so that I can cut the fashion fabric later, hopefully tonight. Cause I kind of need to finish that over the weekend. Um, and I'm glad I got these pajamas done. I'm glad I, I was going to start cutting, but I didn't really feel like I would have enough time to make much progress there. So I decided to finish these up and have a completed project because we love completing projects. And now I can show them on Friday Sews and Brady can wear them and I'm excited. Okay. I am continuing this vlog all weekend, I think. I right now am trying to style my style arc Francesca and I have no idea how to do it casually. Um, I googled how to style a button-down shirt casually and this was my initial thought and this showed up in a lot of the pictures was the like one side tucked in and the other out but like I feel like I look I feel like I forgot to tuck in half of my shirt and I know it's a look it popped up a lot but I'm just like it looks like I forgot you're gonna let Bubba outside I think Bubba's napping um, ignore my closet, sorry. So then I'm like, do I tuck the whole thing in? But is that just the millennial in me wanting to do a millennial? But see, I think that looks better. Mm, maybe I'll try tucking it all in and seeing how it looks. Okay, we'll come back once I decide. I hate this more. This is going well. Now we have a tied. I hate this medium. This shirt is not intended to be worn this way. It has a facing. It just all of the effort I did to do the darts and stuff for me goes away. So, and then just untucked, I don't mind it, but with it untucked and with the wide leg jeans, I don't like it. I think I'm gonna end up doing that half tuck. Okay, well, this is what the cool kids do now, right? It showed up on Google. Clearly this is the right answer. My day of sewing stuff continues actually. Adam just got back from running an errand and he came in and said, there's a kombucha waiting in the car for you and you should go to Block Therapy, which is our my local quilt shop that I never went to when I first got here. And then it actually closed down for a while because it came under new ownership and moved locations and it reopened a couple weeks ago now, but then I was out of town, yada, yada. So I haven't had a chance to go yet and I was, it wasn't even on my radar to do today or this weekend, but he came home and was like, you should go to block therapy, stay as long as you want. So I'm going to enjoy my kombucha. I love this one from GT's The Trilogy. I'm gonna enjoy that and drive on over there and check it out and spend some money. He, he told Brady, mom is going shopping. And I was like, yes, I am. So 
I will hopefully get some footage in there uh, so I can show you guys my new old local quilt shop. I'm home. I took zero footage in the quilt shop. It is very, very cute. I took a little bit of the outside, but not inside. They have so much fabric, um, all quilting fabric, so many patterns. Um, they sell baby lock machines. They have a really, really nice classroom. And uh, when I was checking out, I asked if they had a calendar of the classes they're offering. And then the owner was like, is there a specific type of class you're looking for? And I said, no, just kind of in general. And then I also asked if they were gonna be doing socials. And she once again asked like, she was like, I was just thinking about that. She asked if I was interested in a certain type of sewing and I said, I quilt and I make garments. So honestly, I was just kind of picturing an open sew. And then I told her how the one I used to go to in San Antonio was structured where it was like, just bring whatever project you're working on, $5 to just kind of cover using the space and so that you're more invested in going and just come hang out and sew with people. So she liked the idea and was like, okay, what day works for you? Do you want like after hours, during the day, on the weekend? What, you know, what what, what do you want? And I was like, do you want to sit on your potty? Saturdays, please. So, okay. You might hear some potty talk. So that was very exciting. June 29th, I'm going to a social that I prompted. She was very excited about it. She was like, I was just, just thinking about that. And then this is what I oh, well. bought. These are all from. I want, I want to fab red. I want red. Can you, no, please don't draw on the fabric. Can you put the pencil down if you're going to play with the fabric? Brady, put the pencil down, please. Okay. This is um, uh, all from Moda and it is Wild Meadow by Sweet Fire Road. So this plus the one that Brady just stole, um, I bought and really like, and then they also had labels from Sarah Hartz, which I use some of her labels at Christmas time. Mama Okay, one moment. Thanks, I made it. She is climbing on me. I need to move fast. And then made by mom for this Mama. one's clothes. Mama. And I finally got Mama. a bodkin. That is it. I will I will check in later if I do anything else sewing related. Hold See you guys. Mama. It's post dinner time, post bedtime. I filmed and edited my Friday sews for tomorrow and it's uploading now while well, it's exporting to upload to yada yada. I am working on a project dress a girl dress because I just really don't feel like cutting out my dress right now, but also I do feel like cutting it out. I'm very torn. Um, and I have a mountain of fabric that I need to organize. It's stressing me out. Um, so I think I might do that right now. I also recently reorganized all of my patterns and freed up some space. So. I might actually do that. I might put the show on and just reorganize fabric because this this mountain is stressing me out so much. I'm gonna do that. It is by no means perfect. I still need to organize all my scraps, well, Brady's fabric. I have more that I need to unload from there that I got at my mom's house recently from her stash, but I filled these three up. I moved some things around, folded things, kind of restacked this. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. I did nothing sewing related yesterday except pre-wash some fabric. <laughs> okay, go read in the library. When I was organizing my fabric Thursday night, there was a lot that hasn't been washed from when I bought it and stuff, and I like to have it already pre-washed so it's good to go when I want to use it. So I've been slowly working on that. But yeah, other than that, I didn't do anything yesterday. Um, sorry, I've been up since very early. <laughs> um, right now, I'm going to fix this cover. We have a play couch. They're nuggets, but like a knockoff one from Sam's Club. And the other day after we washed it, Adam was putting it back on and the zipper just popped apart. So I unpicked the end of it. I have some pictures because I needed to make sure I knew how it went back together. I unpicked the end of it, took the pull all the way off because one side had come out. So I took it all the way off 
put it back on and then I just need to re-sew the tab and the end of the zipper closed so that it doesn't come off. And then it'll be good to go and go back on the foam pieces. I'm being summoned. Okay, this is done. I did not bother doing a matching thread because um, it doesn't show. On the outside, I think it was a little higher up originally, but um, I couldn't get it. I'm driving. As high, you're driving? Okay. Um, but it'll, it'll work, it'll stop it like it needs to. And then hopefully this'll hold just fine with all the rough play and us putting it on and off. Good as new. I don't even remember which side is the one that I just fixed. So I think that's a good sign. Mama. I think this one, all done. Okay, I didn't film because Brady was in here playing with me. As you can tell, she was playing with her fabric, but I worked on a shirt that I started for Adam like right after I got my surgery months ago and just never got around to finishing because I didn't have a thread to top stitch. I just twin needled the collar, it's kind of star bursting. And then um, the I used the twin needle to hem the sleeves. I need to have them try it on again because I remember this was way too long, but I don't remember how much I need to take off. I used a longer stitch length for my twin needle. I used a three and a half and I have the width set correctly, but for some reason I am getting this tunneling. I think it is just the fabric because when I tested out the twin needle, I used a different fabric. I couldn't find scraps of this and it was fine. It was flat. So I think it's just this. I don't hate it. I think it's you know, st stylized in a way, but it's fine. This was from a remnant anyway. So we'll call it a wearable toile, especially, yeah, you can see the neckband and stuff has that starbursty, sunbursty thing, but it's fine. It's really, really a soft fabric. So he'll enjoy wearing it, even if it's not the most polished product. Okay, um, they're out there cleaning. Adam woke up. So I am in here sewing and I am whipping up butter 3405, these little bloomers for Brady to wear under her special occasion dress next week. I wanted to use a different pattern that I have used before, but I could not find the pattern piece for the bloomers in that pattern. So um, I'm trying this one out. I'm just doing the little bloomers, but my machine is currently threaded with the twin needle and the thread for Adam's shirt. So I am going to check. He said he likes the length of this. It could be a little longer. So I'm gonna try and use this to decide on the length for this instead of making him try it on and everything right now. Um, and then get it hemmed so I can switch my machine over. The struggle, man. So let me work on that. Um, so actually, uh, there's not much difference here. Um, so I might do a slightly more narrow hem to give him that little bit of extra length and call it good. I must have already shortened it. I need to find the notes I took on this pattern because yeah, I must have already shortened it. So let me go ahead and press that and get it clipped so I can finish this up like months after I started it. Okay, ignore the water droplets because um, my iron leaked all over the place, but I steamed the heck out of where I did all the twin needling and it is a lot better. Um, it is not nearly as like tunneled. One of these sleeves is still pretty bad, but it is a lot, lot better. The hem came out definitely the best. So um, this shirt is all done once it, you know, dries off. Okay, now that Adam's shirt is done, I am ready to switch my machine over and try out my new elastic foot, which is supposed to stretch and sew the elastic as you feed it through. I bought this specifically for this situation of putting tiny elastic on things like little bloomers. Now, obviously I bought it for that, that's what it's made to do, but you know, I, I knew I would use it for bloomers, so. Let me grab the elastic, let me switch things over on my machine, and we'll see how it works. I played around with the elastic foot, and it is really cool. It's a little hard because the elastic I'm using is so narrow, but um, I'll definitely be able to 
make it work, get it a little more specific. Oops, hang on, my episode was still playing. Um, so, yeah, I think that'll really work. I did remember though, I need to hem the bottom of the bloomers first and then do the elastic will be the better way to do that. So I'm going to do that and then come. Well, it worked, but I definitely did it on too tight of a setting. You can change how much, basically the differential, how much it's going to gather. And this is definitely uh, too small for even a little toddler leg. So I have to unpick this and do it on a more reasonable setting. It did work though. At one point it got like kind of stuck. So that's going to be a bear to undo. But um, for the most part, it did a great job. That was, that was the problem area. Okay, my brain kicked in. Um, it's hours later, but my brain kicked in at one point. And I realized like this isn't going to go around the leg. This is half of a leg. So I think it's totally fine. I did the other three um, parts and now I can surge. I can do the side seams and then the crotch seam and the elastic casing on top and we should be all done with the bloomers very very fast make that elastic foot is so cool once you get it working it makes it so easy okay it is almost 10 o'clock which is an hour past when i wanted to go to bed so i'm calling it a night i finished the little bloomers they're so cute i actually like this pattern more than the pattern I was originally looking for because the elastic is um, wider on it. So these are so cute. They're gonna go with her dress so nicely. And then I have been cutting my, hi Stacy. I have been cutting my dress and marking, um, but I'm gonna call it a night. I still have a couple more pieces to cut but it's 10 o'clock and Adam is working. So if Brady wakes up tonight or wakes up super early again, it's all on me. So I need to be responsible and get some sleep. This was such a productive sewing day though. I'm very pleased with the amount of stuff I got done. And most of this dress is cut. I just have to do a couple more of the bands and the ties and then the interfacing. And then that'll be ready to go. Yay! It is just a little bit before eight. Brady went down super easily tonight, thankfully, um, because I don't want to stay up as late as I did last night, but I have a lot of stuff I want to get done. I did manage, where is it? Oh, piles over there. I managed to get everything cut today. I need to cut a couple pieces of interfacing and then I want to prep all the pattern pieces. I'm going to serge the edges and then there is some decorative stitching I want to do. So I'm hoping to get all of that done in the next hour and some change, but I really, really don't want to stay up as late tonight. And I have comments I want to respond to and some other stuff I want to do before I go to sleep. So let's get cracking. An hour and a half later, I got everything done that I wanted to. I searched the edges of all of the pieces that I needed to. Some of them are going to be totally enclosed um, in various ways. So I didn't worry about those. And then I did some decorative stitching. It's gonna be really subtle, a little more subtle than I wanted, but I am gonna like it. You can still see the air erasable pen, but it's just this little leafy design that'll go um, up the sleeves. I'm gonna use it in some other spots, but I'm not 100% sure on the placement yet. And I'm gonna use it on the hem and then maybe on some of the bands, but like I said, I haven't decided yet. That does it for tonight and for this weekend in my sewing life vlog. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. I got a lot done, it felt like. I didn't make as much progress on my dress as I wanted to, but um, I got two projects that have just been sitting around finished, uh, Adam's shirt and the pajamas for Brady. Oh, sorry, my nose is always so itchy. Um, I had to get the 12 for this done and stuff. So I'm feeling really good about it. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for coming along with me this long weekend it turned out to be in my sewing life. If you do enjoy these kinds of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up and then comment down below that you like 
coming along um, for a couple days with me while I sew. Have a wonderful day, you guys, and I will see you on Friday for Hashtag Friday Sews. Bye.